I just got back from a visit to my parents' house, and let me tell you, parents never stop parenting. They have a lifelong subscription to giving advice. My mom still loves to remind me how to dress appropriately. Don't forget to wear a jacket. It's cold out, she says. It's June, mom. The only thing cold here is the ice cream that's melting because it's 90 degrees outside. And my dad. He thinks he's the tech guru. He calls me over, all serious like he's about to impart some ancient wisdom. Son, did you know you can Google things on the internet? Wow, Dad, next you'll be telling me this internet thing can send emails too. Now that I've moved out, they've replaced me with houseplants. I think they like the plants more, though. My mom's become a real green thumb. She talks to her plants every day, and I'm like, Mom, you do realize they're not gonna talk back, right? She looks at me and goes, yeah, it's why I like them so much. Last time I visited, I noticed that the plants got my room. They're in there, basking in the sun, living rent-free, and here I am, paying a landlord who thinks heating is a suggestion rather than a requirement. Speaking of landlords, they have this supernatural ability to disappear when something needs fixing. The moment I message him about the broken heater, poof, he's gone. If only I could make my student loan disappear as quickly as my landlord when there's a leak in the bathroom. But don't worry, the moment rent is due, my landlord turns into an Olympic sprinter breaking records to collect it. And let's not get started on student loans. They're like that one clingy friend who never leaves you alone. Even after you die, they're at your tombstone like, you still owe us money. Or they'll have a ghost from beyond the grave show up at my ghost house front door. But hey, life's an adventure, right? Just remember, between plants replacing you and landlords ghosting you, make sure to take a moment, sit back, and remember to laugh at the chaos. Thank you. You've been a great crowd. Good night.